Welcome to the city of Bryan, where our motto is to live the good life, Texas style. It takes a lot of work behind the scenes to provide our citizens that quality of life. Now I know many of you might think that sometimes it takes a while to get some projects done. No doubt, it can be like herding cats some days. But thankfully, we have a great team in place that works to make sure life truly is better in Bryan. In keeping with our past State of the City reports, we will take a peek behind the curtain to see what our employees in a few city departments have been getting their paws into this year. When they aren't burying monies for safekeeping, our finance department is always striving for excellence. Responsible for one of the most important city documents, the budget, these employees do much more than crunch numbers. Let's talk a little bit about their accomplishments. They received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award for the Fiscal Year 16 budget from the Government Finance Officers Association. They also received the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for the Fiscal Year 15 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report from the Government Finance Officers Association. And finally, they developed the City of Bryan's first council-approved policies for financial management. Finance can give a lot of thanks for our income to economic development. The employees that oversee this department have done a great job bringing new businesses, industry, and rooftops to the area. We know it can be hard or even rough at times, but they have worked their tails off to bring new growth to our city. Since January 2016, the City of Bryan has issued 75 new commercial construction permits compared to 35 for the same period in 2015. Total project valuation has increased from approximately $123 million in 2015 to $156 million over the same period in 2016. We've implemented the Property Improvement Grant Program for properties along Texas Avenue. This grant is new to the City of Bryan and is intended to provide funding to property owners along the Texas Avenue corridor to make exterior improvements to their property. This can include parking lots, landscaping, or facade improvements. The goal of this program is to stimulate redevelopment and bring about much needed aesthetic improvements to the Texas Avenue corridor. Our Home Builders Building Incentive Program continues to shine. During 2016, from January through mid-August, there has been a total of 77 homes that are in the program. Compared to last year, that is a 40% increase in the number of homes built in the target range of 2,200 to 3,000 square feet. With new businesses and residential customers to service, we are thankful to have a municipally owned utility company better known as BTU. Short for Bryan, Texas Utilities, this branch of the city works night and day, literally, to make sure we have reliable electricity service at one of the lowest rates in Texas. This year, BTU identified and replaced 250 poles that were determined to be at the end of life. They completed an in-depth 10-year distribution planning study to help ensure transmission system adequacy, and they have connected approximately 1,300 new customers. All this new development has had a seriously positive impact on our local economy. If you take a moment to pause, you will notice our residents are not only staying here, they are expanding their families here because we are truly a family-friendly community. The City Secretary's Vital Statistics Office, which has won the Texas Department of State Health Services annual five-star award 20 times, issues birth certificates for anyone born in Texas. And let me tell you, we love seeing those new babies in our great city. You know these are our future city employees, elected officials, and volunteers who will work to keep life better in Bryan. This office, which is on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, not only issues records and issues certified birth and death certificates, they also assist with paternity affidavits and issue burial transmit and cremation permits. A hidden treasure in Bryan is Coulter Airfield, the city's general aviation airport. With its modern terminal, fancy automated weather observation station, and easy access to Kyle Field, it is the perfect location to service corporate aircraft, and Aggies, and their opponents, Razorbacks, Tigers, and Bears, oh my, to arrive and depart in their own planes. 
This year, Coulter completed the design and engineering phase of the multi-year capital improvement program project with TechScot Aviation. They also increased the overall based aircraft as well as added a new business jet aircraft, bringing the total jet based aircraft from one in 2013 to now three. A new commercial helicopter based hunting outfit relocated to Coulter from Baytown, Texas that brings in customers from around the world. And Coulter continues to be the base for fuel, maintenance, and weather related services for regional helicopter emergency medical services. We have discovered you can teach an old dog new tricks, especially if those tricks are on the greens. We've really stepped up our game at the Travis B. Bryan Municipal Golf Course so our golfers of all ages can do the same. Repairs of the golf course continue, including renovations of tees, collars, and approaches. The zone shootout has had the largest numbers in recent history with an average of 40 plus players per week. And our golf course continues to offer the best value in the area for golfers. We're proud of our police and fire departments and go so far to say that they are the best in the state or anywhere. No, we aren't pulling your leg or even tail. Let's talk about the ways these essential departments excel. We've continued our Coffee with a Cop program and added a new program, Lunch with Leo, AKA law enforcement officers at the African American Museum. The police training unit has conducted nearly 2,000 hours of training to include body-worn cameras, crowd control, defensive tactics, firearms, spontaneous knife defense, building search, and shoot-don't-shoot shoot scenarios. Also, the police department was selected as a city award winner by the National Association of Town Watch for its participation in National Night Out 2015. This is the first year the Bryan Police Department has received recognition for this accomplishment. As for the fire department side, we added six new firefighter positions, we added a new fire engine and ambulance, received a grant award of the Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response Grant, which funds salaries and benefits that will pay for six additional firefighters for two years by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, designed the floor plan and assisted with the award of the construction contract approval for new fire station number two where ground has been broken for this new state-of-the-art facility and created the fire department's first ever long-range strategic plan. This year, the Communications and Marketing Department launched a new Lunch and Learn series where citizens were invited to enjoy a free lunch while learning about the various departments of the city. These sessions have been well attended and participating citizens have rated the experience as an outstanding way to learn about what all our city employees do for our residents and the community. I hope you enjoyed this glance into the services provided by some of our city departments. I think you'll agree our employees are the cat's meow. Bryan residents can rest assured that all City of Bryan employees in every department report to work each day with the purpose of providing you with the good life, Texas style. Our employees and you, our citizens, are the reasons things are truly better in Bryan.